I got quite a few updates regarding the RTX 50 series of graphics cards from Nvidia and then a post from video cards on something that I'm pretty sure they're just completely unaware of. And that my friends is Ace Magic, the little mini gaming PC company. I don't think that video cards is fully aware that this company was selling Ace Magic computers on Amazon, mind you, that were like loaded with a bunch of virus infected malware. If that makes sense to you. However, let's go ahead and go over the stuff that I think you probably clicked the video for. And that, my friends, is the RTX 50 series. Now, there's a couple of articles that I wanted to talk about. And then this right here, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang disclosing the company's secret sauce that he still serves dishes the best. It's an interview and that kind of stuff. And I just found it interesting and wanted to share it with you. You feel me? But anyways, laptops, NVIDIA RTX 50 series of graphics cards. Very, 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 very like super duper simple, basic explanation on this article. It says, once NVIDIA unveils its entire fleet of Blackwell-based GeForce RTX 50 laptop GPUs, this is what the VRAM capacity is going to look like against the RT or GeForce RTX 40 laptops. Oh my goodness, I was about to say GTX for a moment there. So for the 5090, we got 16 gigabytes. We have 16 gigabytes for the 5080 as well. We got 12 for the 5070. We have 5060 getting eight gigabytes. 4090 has 16 gigabytes. 4080 only has 12, 4078. So the, so the 5070 is getting a four gigabyte. I don't know why I started saying that. I think I just admit, like mispronounced it or something someday. Um, so the 4070, it's getting like a four gig gigabyte uh, bump. And then the 4060 to the 5060 is only eight. And then the 4050. Wait, what? Nah, no, 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 dude. I haven't been out of the blue that, to that extent. Hold up. 4050 laptop. Oh my god, hold on. There actually is 4050 laptops. What? Well, I feel pretty dumb right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> but anyways, let's get back to the other article. RTX 59, because that's all I need to say about this. I mean, if you really want to go ahead and pause and read the rest of this article, you can feel free to do so. But I'm going to be honest with you. If I read all this, I won't even remember what I read. So... It's kind of pointless for me to read. My brain does not function with paragraph formats. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> My brain functions pretty well with charts, which is one of the main reasons I'm always on the, uh, <laughs> why I always use the video cards website, because when they like, when they, when they cover all this like stuff, like, almost like all the time at the end of their article, there's like a chart full of like, okay, there's this for like the megahertz of whatever. There's this for the whatever die size. There's this for the memory speed. There's this for that. And then we have the this card, this card, this card, this card, this card. Whereas all the other articles, they all the other articles are doing. You know what the other articles are doing? You ready for this? They're going over to chat GPT and they're like, make me an article on this. Enter. <laughs> copy paste poof post there's your friggin article and then i gotta read it and then i'm like okay so we have the number 500 here this 400 here the die size two inches over here this isn't big enough that is what she said and then this over here is that and then this is over here is that and at the end of the day we got seven bajillion numbers being mentioned it's like yo really do you expect me to remember the bajillion numbers The RTX 5090 is NVIDIA's only hope for 2024, leaks suggest. All right, I'm going to be real with you guys. The, the 50 series, and again, like I said the other day, don't hate the player, hate the game. I understand why people are doing this, and I'm probably like picking a war that I should not pick here, okay? And I don't know if I'm correct on this. I genuinely don't know if I'm correct on this, okay? I need to say it really quickly before I forget. Because my mind won't shut up. Uh, so every time a new like series of graphics cards 
launch is pretty much the same freaking thing every single time every time nvidia does it so dude look okay these leaks and these rumors they're guessing okay all they're doing is guessing and basing everything off of what nvidia has done the past 20 years all right pardon my french i apologize for swearing and if i offended the five-year-old watching my video that's apparently got a parent beside them okay <laughs> but uh <laughs> And if that is actually happening, mom, dad, sorry for cussing and using the F word. Whatever, bro. But, uh, <laughs> so, um, that's me, dude. I'm just being honest, man. Like, the Moore's Law is dead. Whatever these other guys are, leaks, these rumors and all this shit. It's like, dude, you're f guessing. Like, come on, man. No, really. It's going to release, like, during quarter four of the, of the friggin' year. No really as if like every other tech product doesn't release in the fourth quarter jeez i just like oh my god it's just like so unbelievable that the same thing every other company does every single year every single product just releases during the fourth quarter mind-blowing let me make a 20 minute video blurring out the release date for this graphics card so that you have to wait a minute to watch me announce the release date for the other graphics card make another two minutes for me to announce the release date of the third graphics card so you just made a 20 minute video going over the freaking release date and blurring out every other release date because you know people need to watch the entire video so you blur them all out so that people can't see it like within the first minute dude <laughs> <laughs> guessing okay um so let me i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna leak the release date of everything for you guys right now okay you ready for this this is how nvidia is going to do it i guarantee you a hundred bucks every person watching this video every but every single one of you that's how confident i am in this guess okay this is how like the 5090 is going to come out i'm gonna guess october or november is when the 5090 is going to come out and then a little bit before christmas during this like time frame nvidia is going to release the 5080 and then in january all the other potato bar whatever graphics cards that they end up releasing then those are going to release i just barely made like a bajillion dollars leaking all of that to you because <laughs> you guys all owe me 100 bucks too if i'm right this right here I, yeah <laughs> right, we're, we're only 20 minutes so pretty long article and i'm because i really like jensen dude he's a super inspiring interesting motivating guy he's i he's very 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 smart and i i really i like watching the podcasts and interviews with him so i know that i'm gonna i really don't feel like editing an hour video okay but uh because i know i'm gonna start getting all nerdy with this so nvidia dude so basically why i like nvidia is because they always like do this like they're like the nintendo and i okay this is in a positive manner not a negative manner so they're like the nintendo of of, of computers and i i genuinely say that with you like with positivity because nintendo sucks but i'm like remove the suckiness of nintendo and then apply it to nvidia <laughs> so that's like how they are because they're always like innovating what in what planet did they like the nintendo 64 controller is the dumbest controller on the in the world it dude it really is i don't like the controller it's so stupid and the same thing with the gamecube controller it's the most like random ass controller ever dude and it's like <laughs> so <laughs> And I know you guys all know what I'm talking Unless you grew up and you like, you, it's you, so all you played. But if you went from like a normal friggin' controller, from like going for like a Sega Genesis or the Nintendo or Super Nintendo or all these other the Dreamcast, all every other controller ever released in the history of all controllers ever, including handhelds. Nintendo is always like, oh, we're going to put the button you use with this controller over here and then this one here. And then we're going to make it where you have to reach your freaking arm all the way over here to push this button. It's like, bro, just make a freaking controller the same as everybody else. <laughs> and then we released a Nintendo Switch, which is actually super cool. I don't have any complaints about that. Um, but like, 
What company makes a hybrid console? Just it really it just shows like how safe. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll get you, <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.